Animals can make great pets, especially when they are all cute and cuddly. But oftentimes, they can injure people severely or even lead to fatal consequences. Here are 10 gruesome deaths caused by animals. Number 10. King Alexander I of Greece In 1920, the Greek Alexander I was walking around his estate when a monkey bit him. The palace steward had an old Asian breed of monkeys and he kept them in the palace's grapevines. According to this story, the king tried to defend his dog that was attacked by one of the monkeys, but it could have easily been the other way around. Maybe the dog saw the monkey and went after it. Who knows? Either way, when King Alexander approached the animals in order to separate them, he was bitten on the torso and the leg. The servants came and managed to chase off the monkey, but by that time, the damage had already been done. The king's wounds were immediately cleaned by the doctor, however, for some reason, a decision was made not to cauterize them. Not wanting to seem silly or clumsy, King Alexander refused to issue any news on what had actually happened. But in the very same evening as the attack, the king's wounds got infected, a terrible fever ensued, and sepsis started developing. The king's doctors were thinking about leg amputation as a possible remedy, but they were too afraid of the potential consequences of such an act. Two weeks later, Alexander I of Greece became delirious and he died of the monkey attack induced sepsis. Number 9. Darla Napora Darla Napora was found in her California home. Her body was soaked in blood and she wasn't breathing. When her husband arrived home from work, he found her lying on the floor in that condition. It turned out that poor Darla was mauled to death by her pet dog. The husband later said that when he arrived at home, his wife was on the floor and their pet pit bull was at her side. When the police came and the officer started investigating, the dog tried to escape through the back door and the policeman managed to shoot the animal before it attacked anyone else. What adds to the tragedy of this event is the fact that the late Darla was a strong advocate against the poor perception of pit bulls. She even belonged to an organization whose whole goal is to fight for the rights and recognition of the breed. Darla's widower Greg is still an advocate for the pit bull breed and refuses to blame the dog. He said that the dog wasn't dangerous at all and he sees no reason why it would have done such a thing. Number 8. Timothy Treadwell in the autumn of 2003, Timothy Treadwell, a bear enthusiast, and his girlfriend went to Katmai National Park in Alaska. They set up camp near a salmon-rich river where many of the grizzlies roamed and fed. But the bears were more aggressive than they usually are because they were struggling to gain as much fat as they could before the upcoming winter. On October 6, when the air pilot came back to pick up Treadwell and his girlfriend, they were nowhere to be found. The pilot then decided to summon the park rangers and soon after the search for the two missing people started, their butchered remains were found. A video camera was recording the final moments of Treadwell and his girlfriend, but the lens cap was on, so it only recorded the audio. Filmmaker Werner Herzog later made the film Grizzly Man about the life and work of Timothy Treadwell. Luckily, the agonizing screams of the two people were left out of Herzog's film out of respect. While the rangers were retrieving the dead bodies, they located and shot two of the grizzlies that were believed to have been responsible for the horrific attack. The rangers claimed that the event was the first known killing of a human by a bear in the 85-year history of the Katmai National Park. Number 7. Brian Jeffrey Griffin Brian Jeffrey Griffin, a 12-year-old boy, was swimming in the Dead River in Lake County, Florida. It was a Wednesday night and Griffin was there with his friends, but unbeknownst to them, they had chosen to swim close to a spot where people used to feed alligators. A friend, standing offshore, noticed something in the water and immediately realized it was not just one, but several alligators. The friend started screaming and called to Griffin to get out of the water right away, but it was too late. One of the alligators got the boy by the jaw, started throwing him around, and then pulled him under the water. Some people in the nearby marina saw what was happening and tried to rescue the boy, but he was soon gone below the water level. He was underwater around 20 minutes by the time local rescuers came for him, and one of the rescuers jumped in the water, managing to pull Griffin out and carry him to a boat. Unfortunately, when the boy reached the hospital though, the doctors couldn't do anything and the boy was pronounced dead on arrival. 
Number 6. Stephen Miller Stephen Miller was a stunt double and an animal trainer. While he was shooting a promo video, Miller was killed by a grizzly called Rocky, a bear actor trained for wrestling with humans. Miller was supposed to wrestle Rocky for a commercial shoot, but prior to this, Miller had never worked with Rocky, but he decided to do the shoot because he was an experienced trainer. The plan for the shooting was to film the two as they stood side by side first and then moved on to a staged match in wrestling. But for some reason, the Grizzly started wrestling before Miller was ready. Since Rocky caught Miller off guard, Miller instinctively hit the bear with a cane that he was holding, which may have aroused the bear even more. It went for Miller's neck and bit him hard, piercing his artery. At that point, nothing could be done to save him, and Miller died just a couple of minutes later. Number 5. Shyana Hare Shyana was a two-year-old child living in Florida with her mother and her mother's boyfriend, who kept an eight-and-a-half-foot albino Burmese python under their roof as a pet. One night, the man heard a noise, and he got up to find that the snake was not in its terrarium. He then ran to Shyana's room and saw the python had already wrapped itself around the baby, crushing the poor girl to death. The man started stabbing the python with a knife, but by then it was too late and Shyana died as a result of asphyxiation. The man and woman were charged with manslaughter and each of them were sentenced to 12 years in prison for manslaughter and child neglect. Among those to testify were some expert snake handlers who claimed that the couple didn't keep the python properly with even the most simple of protections. For example, the terrarium didn't have a proper lid and it was located only 12 feet from Shyana's room without a door in between. Also, according to the testimony, the snake had not been fed in over a month. It was so hungry that it tried to eat poor Shyana whole. Number 4. Joe Ramonatha Joe Ramonatha was a zookeeper from South Africa who, due to staff shortages, came out of his retirement to assume his previous position. He was working at a rural farm which was breeding animals for the zoo, but one day something terrible happened. Another employee of the farm had made a mistake and one of the cage gates was inadvertently left open. Although the staff on the zoo farm was well trained and the rule was to always close the gates that the lions can enter before workers come near. This time, someone failed to do so and Joe was attacked in the staff passageway. As Joe was preparing food for the lions, a 10-year-old lion jumped at him, aiming at his neck. The lion bit him hard and all he could do was scream. When his colleagues heard him screaming, they quickly rushed to save him and Ramonatha was immediately taken to the hospital. By the time he got there, he had already passed on. Number 3. Maddox Turkosh This tragedy took place at the Pittsburgh Zoo. The two-year-old Maddox was visiting the zoo with his parents and their explorations eventually brought them to the enclosed area for the African painted dogs. Because the boy had problems with his vision, he couldn't see the animals so well. So, his mother lifted him up a little bit, allowing him to see the dogs. But as the boy leaned more and more forward, he somehow fell down into the pit to the absolute horror of his parents. He was immediately attacked by 11 aggressive dogs who attacked with such ferocity that it was impossible to save him, and poor Maddox bled to death in a matter of minutes. The zoo staff and police officers arrived within minutes and tried to rescue the boy managing to chase off seven dogs, but struggled with the remaining four. One dog was especially aggressive and an officer had to shoot him down. The death of Little Maddox was the first recorded accident of that type at an accredited zoo in almost half a century. Number 2. Don Branshaw John Branshaw was an animal trainer at SeaWorld who was viciously attacked and killed by an orca in 2010. In February of that year, Don was performing with Tilikum, the largest captive orca at SeaWorld. The performance was going well until the very end. The final part of the routine involved Don lying on a submerged slide out next to the orca well. According to other SeaWorld workers who were present that day, everything was going on normally and there was absolutely no indication that the well would do something unexpected. But for some reason, the well grabbed Dawn by her hair and dragged her underwater, breaking several of her bones and even ripping off some of her limbs. As it turned out, this was not the first fatality in which Tilikum was involved. Prior to Dawn's death, the well was associated with the killing of two people in 1991 and 1999. The death of Don Branshaw awakened the national awareness about the issue of orcas in captivity and the dangers stemming from it. 
In the documentary Blackfish, filmed about the tragic event of Don Branshaw's death, it is argued that the premise of her being killed because she had a ponytail is, well, flimsy to say the least. The film's director claims that there could be something more behind this whole story. Number 1. Steve Irwin Steve Irwin is a famous television personality from a TV show that he hosted for several years. You probably know him better as The Crocodile Hunter. Irwin gained the reputation of a man who was not afraid to do anything, and he was pretty daring in his exploits involving wild animals. Well, in 2006, Irwin was in Australia filming the documentary series Ocean's Deadliest. But because of bad weather, the filming had to be stopped for a while, so Steve decided to take some time to snorkel. His idea was to use the footage of him snorkeling and give it to his daughter, who also had a TV program. Irwin was swimming in shallow waters when he came close to a stingray from behind, in an attempt to film how it swims away. But unexpectedly, the stingray moved and started stabbing Irwin with its tail. In fact, the stingray stabbed him multiple times in just a matter of seconds. At first, Irwin thought that the stingray had merely pierced his lungs and that he would recover, but it was way more serious than that. The stingray's tail actually pierced Irwin in the heart, causing him to bleed to death. Although crew members rushed him to the local hospital, he was pronounced dead. Tell us what you think about these crazy attacks in the comments below. Like the video, click the subscribe button, you know you want to, and hasta luego!